And he was always laughing. So, who is he? He is an entertainer. So, he is a clown that we all love to see and that we all love to enjoy with him. So, today we are going to see how this clown's wife is telling about this clown. This is Literature Mastery, and you all love warmly welcome to my YouTube channel. Clone's Wife by Johnson Agard. So now in this poem, it tells about the reality of a clone at home. Oh, it tells about the real life of a clone. So before we talk about this uh, poem, let's uh, talk a bit about this writer, Johnson Agard. He is an afro Chinese playwright, poet, children's writer. And he was selected for the Queen's Gold Medal for Poetry. So, out of the poems that he has written, let's see some examples. Flag, Checking Out Me History, Coffee in Heaven, Bridge Builder are some of his examples that he has written. So, he was born in 21st of June 1949 and he is now living in Britain. So that's a bit about this writer, Johnson Agard. And now let's see the story of this poem, uh, The Clown's Wife. So what is telling in this poem? Now in this poem, now the poem, uh, the, clown, the clown's wife is telling about this clown. So now the wife tells how he is being a king on the stage. So how the wife tells that how he acts. With that uh, plant wearing that funny funny clothes, so he tells how she tells how he makes others laugh, and and also uh, she tells. But although he makes laugh these uh, spectators, uh, but when he when he comes home, he is not more a clown. He is an unhappy unhappy man, and uh, sometimes he is weeping. So now at this moment. The wife is doing a lot of things to make him happy. So now the wife becomes the clown after he comes home. So she wears that dress, the funny dress. And uh, then uh, she juggles with eggs. Then she also she uh, turns cartwheels. And also she tells jokes. And she plays the card tricks. And also she wears that funny nose. Red nose on her uh, on her face, and uh, she is being a clone to make his uh, husband laugh. So this is something ironical. So that what is uh, the the things that happens in this uh, poem? So now the husband is although husband watch this, he is not more being happy. He is still silent, and then he utters himself. Uh, the words, all oh life, our life, what would I do without this clone of a wife? So, that's uh, about this story of the poem. So, let's see and uh, let's see and let's go and see in deep each uh, verses and see about this more and more. So, children, uh, then now let's uh, move to this uh, poem. The clown's wife. Now, in here, so you can see the poem. So, now when we talk about the uh, structure of this poem, now it has uh, six verses. So, you can see it. Uh, it and uh, now here, now in the first verse, it has uh, only two lines. And in the second verse, you can see uh, three lines. And uh, once again in the third verse also you can see uh, three lines. And in the fourth verse you can see uh, 
four lines and the fifth verse once again it has three lines and uh, finally uh, you have once again two lines so now you have uh, you can see here there is an irregular versification right so that's about the structure of the poem and uh, now uh, let's move to this uh, poem the first verse of the poem about my husband the clown what could i say now the poem begins from a question from a rhetorical question the uh, poem begins about my husband the clown what could i say now the wife is uh, telling now what could what can she tell she tells that what can she tell about her husband now it means children there is something to tell about the husband maybe uh, there is a story behind or maybe that husband is somewhat a different person or whatever there may be something to tell about this husband although he is a clown maybe there is something different so now at the beginning itself it uh, creates uh, curiosity in the readers so when uh, when it uh, begins from this uh, rhetorical question right now the second verse on a stage he is a different person up there he is a king on a throne but at home you should hear him moan right now in this uh, second verse now the wife tells about this character of his uh, husband on a stage he is a different person now it means that at home he may might he may be a different person and on the stage he is another character so now the wife tells about this uh, dual character dual role of this husband so the husband is uh, husband acts the role on the stage another role and at home another role so now here on a stage he is a different person up there he is a king on a throne now the metaf metaphorically right it tells that he is a king so now what do you feel when you hear the word king that means he is like the um, leader there so he is doing all the things and uh, on the stage he is uh, controlling all the things so it is like king on a throne but at home you should hear him moan now it tells that on the stage he is uh, uh, up there on the stage he is a, a good performer now you know this character is a clown so you know about this clown what they are doing and all on the stage so now he is a good performer that's why it tells that he is a king on a throne so and also maybe that public they admires his uh, role they, that when while he is doing his actions on the stage the public admires him but but at home you should hear him moan but although he is in on the stage being a, such a person but when it comes home he you can hear the moan of him so at home he is totally different so him moan means that he is not no more a happy person after coming home right so now now it creates curiosity in our minds so why the clown is being such a character so let's see Uh, what's happening in these uh, other uh, verses the moment he walks through the door without the red nose and then funny clothes he seems to have the world on his shoulder now now it tells uh, it uh, tells more and more about these the uh, dual personality of this uh, clown now the moment he walks through that door so now that door means the that door means to run the entering to this house right that uh, when he is entering to the house how he is being a different person the moment he walks through that door so from the door he, that door when he enters the house enters to the house without red nose and then funny clothes so now when he comes home he doesn't wear he doesn't have these uh, red nose and those funny clothes and when he's coming inside itself he's been a different person 
he seems to have the world on his shoulder now what now he the world on his shoulder means maybe he is a responsible a uh, person so he is considering all the things that uh, about the family might maybe he has this family matters about the money and uh, so and so so he is responsible and he's been a serious character after coming home but in on the stage he's a performer although he becomes a performer for the audience when he comes back to home he's the he's a serious person so the world on his shoulder now he's like being that all the world is on his shoulder so that means he's holding something after coming this home that means he holds the life right so now when it uh, comes home maybe he might we don't know it's not mentioned but sometimes we can assume that maybe he's a father so he wants to think about this children and uh, he has this uh, fa- family when it comes family it's, it ha- there are a lot of responsibilities so that so something like those uh, responsibilities and those uh, uh duties that he should con- he should uh, ho- so he has a uh, he is holding all these things on his shoulder so that's what uh, tell what is telling in this verse right so now let's next uh, let's move to the next one i do me best to cheer him up poor soul i juggle with eggs i turn cartwheels i tell jokes I do me latest card trick. I even have a borrow of his red nose. Now in this verse, so oh, now it's just see I do me best to cheer him up. Now the wife is doing a lot of things to make him happy. So now from that time we can say that wife is very loyal to him and wife is very lovely. So he's she's trying to make him happy. I do me best to cheer him up. Poor soul. Now this poor soul, you, uh, he refers to this husband. So you can understand that there is a pathetic situation of this husband when even the wife is considering him as a poor soul. I juggle with it. Now the wife is being the clone and the husband is being the spectator so now this is something ironical because now the characters change now the wife is uh, being the clone now after he comes home the clone who made laugh whole audience in the public but when it comes home the wife becomes the clone and the husband becomes the spectator so it's something ironical so now here it tells i uh, i juggle with eggs I turn cartwheels. I tell jokes. So now the wife does all the activities that done by this clone. So we can see assume that the situation is very pathetic of this husband, and also we feel we we create creates a sympathetic uh, image image towards this uh, husband. And uh, wife carrying uh, doing all these things to make him laugh. I tell jokes. I do me latest card trick. I even have a bar of this red nose. So now even she wears the red nose, the dress, and uh, she tries to make him happy. But he is not happy. He is just watching. So now uh, the wife does her all the works that he uh, that she can make here. His her, her husband. Uh, happy so now it shows that the true life true picture of the husband now although husband is a, a person who makes the others laugh on the stage but when it comes home it uh, tells us it shows us the true picture of this husband now he is not happy anymore although he makes happy others right so now let's move to the next lines but he doesn't say exactly how he feels doesn't say what's bothering him inside just sits there saying almost to himself now he is he, but he doesn't say exactly how he feels so now he is a speechless one he doesn't tell about what he feels why he is he un, uh, unhappy 
Now it tells us that he is a kind of introvert person, so he's not uh, expressing what he feels even. So he is a silent character. So and uh, maybe and also uh, we feel like in here he kind he's, we feel like that he's uh, isolated, like being isolated because now he is not uttering any words means to her husband, her wife, his wife. Uh, it means it tells us that he is uh, thinking himself alone. So he is a he is a speechless person thinking himself. So now it doesn't say what's bothering him in, inside. Now something is bothering that there may be he, inside him there is a problem or he is thinking more and more about something. But this uh, tone doesn't tell about it to anyone. Now maybe we can think maybe he's consider considering of the salary or the family the economical background or the problems that maybe he has got a lot of problems but he himself tries to solve them but not even telling it to her his uh, wife right now the final line is tells oh life our life what would i do without this clone of a wife now now here it has this powerful exclamations, all life, our life. Uh, what would I do without this uh, clone of a wife? Now here he utters himself, he tells to himself finally, what would I do without this clone of a wife? He tells about this unhappiness of the life. So what can he do without being the wife, uh, without this uh, wife? So he tells how he is unhappy and uh, he tells us that the life is not a bed of roses. So he tells that life has all these uh, problems, sufferings and everything mixed with. So now from here children you can see uh, throughout this poem that the clone is, when, it, uh, when you hear the word the clone, he is a person who makes the other laugh and who he does a lot of uh, activities to make us laugh. So he is really funny with wearing the dress and all. But when it comes home, home he is a totally a different character. So he has this artificial acting. So you know, after being going to the public, he, the happiness doesn't come from the bottom of the heart. He creates it on the spot. To make others laugh but inside he is suffering. So that is the pathetic situation of this clone and it is discussed in this poem. Right. So now then let's uh, move to the techniques of this poem. Uh, figurative language. Now, now you can see a figurative language. So uh, examples world on his shoulder and then irony. So now yes the incident is, is itself is ironical because now the clone uh, the wife acts as a clone after after the clone comes uh, home so it's something ironical so the changing of these characters right and metaphor right you can see a powerful metaphor that king on a throne so it tells about uh, his uh, character on, on the stage exclamation o and r so it tells the interior feelings of this person now, oh life and our life. So it gives us how he, how this clone thinks about the life. So the he, he doesn't have a kind of positive image towards this life. So that he, it's kind of a suffering. So it tells all life and our life, right? And uh, irregular versification, yes. Uh, you saw this uh, irregular versification. Uh, in the beginning itself, I explained that these are uh, uh, lines are irregular, so it tells it coincides the life of this clone that the clone's life also uh, it uh, coincides this uh, life of the clone that it is that his life also irregular, it's not uh, uh, it is kind of a different life. He doesn't have these uh, true the, he does, he's not happy anymore and. Uh, his uh, realistic life, the authentic life can be seen after coming home and on the stage he's another character and after coming home he's another character. So it shows this irregular by through this irregular versification. 
Then visual imagery. So you can see this visual imagery throughout the poem when it tells about this clone. So it creates the uh, cr clone in your, the image of a clone in your mind. So the funny clothes when it tells this red nose. So it creates in your mind how the dress and the actions of this clone. Right. So that's all about the techniques and uh, let's move to the themes of this poem. Now the themes are very important. So it gives us uh, this um, poem, gives us a lot of messages uh, because now, now uh, this poem comes under the theme life. So that uh, it tells about the life, the reality of the life is uh, told inside this uh, poem. So now... Let's see what are the themes. So, appearance versus reality. Now, the appearance and the reality. So, it's, they are, uh, they are uh, different. They are not uh, similar. Now, the clone is appeared as a clone. So, with that beautiful dress and with the actions, uh, playing card tricks and all. So, and uh, he's doing a lot of funny games. But he's really something else. So the real life is his suffering. So it tells us the appearance and the reality. The difference between this appearance and the reality. And also it tells us difference between the public life and the private life. Now it's important children. So now in, when, uh, when we see these uh, public figures. So in the media, through the medias and all, we can uh, see when we enter to the uh, private life of them, so they are sometimes not the image that is shown in the public. So their life, there is a pathetic story, there is a sad story behind their uh, life. So as such, uh, from this poem, it tells the difference between the public life and the private life. So they are quite two things. Now, by looking at this uh, public life we uh, we cannot uh, tell about the personality so sometimes we might think that he's happy and he's uh, he's rich happy and uh, he's healthy and all these but uh, when it move to this uh, private life he is not more a happy person he is with a lot of problems right and also it tells the sufferings of the poor yeah now the clone might so the clone was thinking maybe he has this house matter so he, he was thinking about this family so after coming home the whole the world is like on his shoulder it tells that means he has this kind of a big uh, there's a heavy thing is uh, he's like holding a heavy thing why he might have this uh, money matters so sufferings of the poor so now maybe his uh, profession, the, what he earns is not enough to uh, carry on his, uh, to treat his uh, family. So he might have all these problems. So that's why it tells, it gives us uh, from, one, uh, from one side, it tells us about the sufferings of the poor. The real life of an entertainer. Right, so entertainers, so we love to see. And we love to hear about the entertainers. Always we peep into their life stories. But sometimes their real life is not uh, beautiful. It's not what you see. The image what you see is not, uh, the, not in the real life. So that's all you can see in this poem. So those are the messages that you can get from this poem. So now this poem comes under the theme life. And it tells us the reality of this life. So that's all about this clown's wife. And if you have any questions regarding this poem, so you can make comments in the comment section. And also share this video with your friends. And next day, let's meet again from a new video. Thank you very much for watching.